What's going on everybody? Um, today I'll be making a review on the Wave Ignitus SL made by Mizuno. Um, I've already said a mouthful so before I go any further let me explain to you um, what style of boot this is, what Mizuno is, and um, the uh, variations they have. So this is um, Mizuno, they're a Japanese uh, company and um, they're really not that popular in the United States well not that I want to say they're not popular because they're a very good manufacturer but they aren't sold in the United States as, long, as far as their um, soccer cleats go so Mizuno has just like Nike uh, a series of, of style boots so um, Nike has a power boot which is the laser and this would be the laser of the Mizuno line, the Wave Ignitus. They also have a control boot, kind of like the CTR. Um, that one is called the Supersonic Wave. Then you have the Heritage boot. Um, Nike has the Tiempo. Um, Mizuno has the Morelia. And then uh, lastly, uh, they do have a speed boot that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Nike has the Vapor. Um, Mizuno has the Neo, which is, um, like I said, coming out very soon. Uh, if you don't know Hulk, he actually uh, is wearing that boot right now. So um, I, I'm just giving you a, a recap on, on what Mizuno is, what kind of uh, boots they, they offer. Um, so this is the power boot, I guess you would say, of their, their series. Um, and specifically the... <clears throat> synthetic version of their power boot. Now the Wave Ignitus uh, comes in a kangaroo leather and it also comes in a synthetic leather. Now when I first got these, if you look at my unboxing video, I was actually <laughs> um, I, I thought these were real leather. Um, I had no idea that they weren't. Um, this is my first, you know, uh, encounter with Mizuno. I, I hadn't really known anything about them before. Um, so when you see my video, I talk about how it's Kaylee. It's not. Um, but that just goes to show how natural like this this synthetic material feels like. Now I've been a huge fan of the CTR and the Kangalite material. Um, but um, I'll admit, by far, this material, this synthetic material, is by far the closest thing I've gone to real leather. I mean, that's not leather. So, um, I was very impressed. Um, especially when, after a couple of sessions in them, I mean, they really soften up. Um, if you really, you know, get a good touch on, like, if you feel the boot around after a good session, um, you would think these are uh, leather. These get softer than, than, you know, some natural leathers wouldn't be. Um, I had the ID Pure 3 that was 4K leather and I actually felt like this boot is a lot softer. Um, so let me go over the design of the boot. As you can see there's a lot of uh, action going on here. Um, most uh, <clears throat> like other power boots um, you know in competitors you have the laser, they have rubber uh, on the instep and stuff like that. The uh, Predator usually has uh, rubber on the um, you know inside the boot as well uh, this follows the same so you have these little uh, ridges all on the uh, instep and then you have this um, I can't pronounce it so I'm not even gonna bar saying the word um, but basically what this is um, this is where you would strike the ball if you wanted to have the knuckleball effect um, and we've all seen Ronaldo, we've all seen, um, you know, shots like this happen in the World Cup. Um, basically, players are striking the ball in this area. Um, it's supposed to help you get a knuckleball effect. For me, um, I'm not really a, a believer of rubber elements and, and stuff like that that can enhance your shots and all that stuff. But I will admit that this little panel right here, uh, it just helps you, uh, 
get on target, you know. Um, it really helped me strike the ball in that area just because it's there. And like, okay, I know how to, where to strike the ball to get the knuckleball effect. Kind of like a target, basically. Um, so, I, I mean, it didn't... <clears throat> didn't I, I'm not going to say this ball... This, sh this shoe's going to give you knuckleball effects. Um, but it definitely gives you the right idea where you would be able to, to strike the ball to get that effect. Um, anyways, that's the uh, rubber on the instep. It's on both boots. Um, another thing I want to say about this, um, usually with the rubber, you know, especially the amount this boot has, you would think it would lessen the touch you have on the ball. Um, but I was actually pretty impressed. Um, even with this rubber stuff element going on, um, and the fact that this is a synthetic material, the whole boot, I still had a pretty damn good touch on the ball, and I was very impressed with this, le I, like, it's kind of hard for me to explain to you how impressive this leather is, the, and it's not leather, it's a synthetic material, um, and I can just imagine the kangaroo leather version of this boot, and how, how even softer that would be. Um, but anyways, uh, <clears throat> this is, uh, the heel counter, um, I'm definitely a fan of these, um, they just give the boot a lot more stability, and uh, the external heel counter, um, and to be honest, I'd rather have a little bit more weight on the boot and have more stability and cushion than having a, a minimalistic, you know, lightweight speed boot and not have much stability so the uh, stud pattern on this is um, out of this world I don't think there's anything out there that comes close to this maybe Puma in their earlier days had a stud configuration like this but um for me it works very well um, they're all blades now um, I don't recommend ever using blades on turf so if you do decide to get any kind of bladed stud stud configuration make sure you're playing on natural surfaces um because turf really can fuck you up and it happened to me um blades aren't meant to play on turf and i know people do it anyways and you know there's a bunch of, there's a lot of people saying oh you know I, I played just fine with them but you always have that risk of, of getting injured um if you're going to be playing on turf make sure you wear uh, conical studs round rounded studs or actual like astro turf shoes and stuff like that um, so the sole plate for me <coughs> worked worked very well. Um, the studs on the back are kind of tall, but um, I really felt really good with this with this sole plate. Um, it does the job. It I feel I didn't feel any stud pressure, um, and I believe in this part of the uh, the <coughs> the sole plate there's some carbon fiber action going on, or at least in um, fiberglass or something because I definitely feel a very rigid stiff feel um, it's you know it reminds me a lot of the same stability I can get with a carbon fiber sole plate but I think this one's a little bit more durable um, with all Mizuno products I think they have really good quality you can see the hand stitch and all that stuff I don't know if it's hand stitch but you can definitely see that they took their time to to make this boot and to design it and you know so far it's been holding up very well uh, and then you got the uh, heel it's a little bit high but it, it, it you know when you put this boot on you're gonna be locked into place that's for sure you're gonna feel comfortable you're not gonna feel like you're sliding around and stuff um, and then let me get to the tongue because the tongue on this shoe is nothing like I've ever had before. Now, um, I've had some bad experiences with thick tongues in the past. Um, I had the Yadi Pure SL and I actually had to get rid of that boot just because the tongue was so thick. I'm not generally a fan of thick tongues. This one, it's thick, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like a mesh tongue and... Um, you know, when I first saw it, I was really put off. I'm like, oh, no, here we go again with thick tongues. But w when you actually put the, the shoe on, um, it feels great. Um, it just makes the boot more comfortable. And um, you don't get lace, lace bite. 
And as far as shots and stuff like that, I really didn't notice a difference. Um, I actually kind of like this tongue now. It's very comfortable. And it kind of feels like a, <laughs> like a pillow on your feet, really, when you put, a, with, when you put this boot on. Um, you're always going to get comfort out of Mizuno, no matter what range you go for. And even this, that's a synthetic boot, was very impressive for me. Um, I remember when these first came out, man, I was a huge fan of this boot. I just liked the way it looked. And I always wanted a pair, and I finally saw a pair for sale that I was able to grab. And I'm very glad I did because it's definitely um, put Mizuno in my eyes uh, a step above from anything else I've ever used. Um, and I'm very pleased with uh, the experience I've had with this boot. Um, the insoles nothing too fancy um, it's just your standard one reminds me a lot of Nike this is uh, Nike's insole pretty much similar um, they work great um, nothing too fancy but overall guys um, very very impressed with this boot and um, you know they definitely set the bar for me and I will be getting more of these in the future, not uh, Waving Nidus because I think this is my first and only pair I'm going to get. Uh, I want to try out some other lines in their boot range. Um, anyways, uh, I know there's a huge question going on, okay, these aren't sold in the United States, where can I grab a pair? Um, so <clears throat> I don't know if you guys heard of Pro uh, Soccer Direct or Pro Direct Soccer, I forgot in which order it is, PDS, I think, Pro Direct Soccer, okay, uh, they're basically a UK based company, um, and they actually carry Mizuno, and they carry pretty much their whole line, now, um, this version I don't think is sold there, this is a synthetic SL version, it's supposed to be lighter, um, and I don't think it's sold there, they sell the MD version, which is a kangaroo leather version, which is the one I thought I I got when I got them shit, but um, they aren't. Um, so I mean, it's really a tough call. It really is. Um, I don't know any better, so uh, you know I haven't tried the kangaroo leather version, so I can't tell you guys which one's better. All I know is from getting this and it being synthetic, I was very impressed. So I can just imagine how much more the K leather version. Uh, better it could be but durability issues might arise with that um, as far as size goes I got lucky um, nowadays I usually run like an eight and a half eight usually if it's us if it's a leather natural leather shoe I like to go very snug so I go half a size down maybe a full size down sometimes so I usually wear a leather shoe in eight um, but my natural shoe size I would say is eight and a half these are true to size. If you're gonna go for a synthetic, uh, go true to size eight and a half. These fit me perfectly. I was very pleased with that. Um, I might have been able to get away with the eight, but I might have been pushing it because I don't think this boot stretches at all. It definitely molds to your feet, but it doesn't stretch at all. So, as far as the weight goes, uh, it's really I don't have a scale or whatever. Um, they're definitely not like a lightweight shoe, um, but because of the comfort you get with these, you kind of forget how much the boot weighs. Um, nowadays, I, I'm done sacrificing my feet. I've gone through Superflies, ID Zeros. I mean, I've gone through Vapors. I've gone through a lot of shoes that are, you know, lightweight. You know, they're supposed to be meant for speed. And um, I've gone through a lot of blisters and all that bullshit. So I'm at the point where uh, I prefer leather and I prefer comfort over anything. And um, these definitely uh, hit the spot. Um, it's nice to get a strike on the ball with these. It feels great. I highly recommend this boot. Um, good news is I will be getting some uh, supersonic waves in. I actually already got them shipped. So I'll be getting those hopefully tomorrow or Friday. Um, so I'm very looking forward to those because those are actual K-leather. And I'll get them more in depth uh, when those arrive. Um, but this is pretty much it for, for the Mizuno uh, Waving Nidus 
SL. If you have any questions, feel free to you know leave a comment, send me a message. Um, I'll be more than happy to to um, answer all your questions. I know there's a lot of people out there that know more about this brand than I do. So if there's anything I said in the video that was incorrect, please correct me. Feel free to. Um, because I'm still learning about this brand, but I'm very, very pleased with this brand. Brand, excuse me, and um, I recommend it to anybody out there. I, I don't think you you'll be disappointed. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. And um, oh, I will be getting on top of the Muzuno Supersonic Wave. I've been hearing a lot of your comments on my uh, voucher. <laughs> I already did the initiative and I went ahead and ordered some Tempo Elites and um, very looking forward to those. I'll be getting those in next Monday so expect an unboxing for that and um, yeah peace out guys have a good night.